Hello and welcome to Let's Go Eat, the Herald Leader's podcast about eating and drinking in the bluegrass. I'm Janet Patton and I cover food, bourbon, and craft beer. I'm Cheryl Truman. I do features and business. And I'm Sally Shear, and I'm the Lifestyles and Business Editor. You're here today at BurgerFi, which is a brand new gourmet burger place that just opened. It's over by the mall. It's kind of between the mall and the, the movie theater, the Cinemark movie theater. And it is really, really it's very cool nice. in here. It's very, very nice in here, yeah. And we will be talking to Doug Smith about everything they have on their menu, which sounds really fantastic. It does sound good. And did we say, oh, can we talk about this yet? No hormone, no antibiotic in their beef. 100% Angus. Yeah, it we'll sounds like it. pretty We're going to try it. And they have shakes. Oh, yeah, and they have shakes. And, and frozen <laughs> custard. Frozen custard. What was the other thing? Beer and wine. Beer and wine. I'm here with Doug Smith of BurgerFi, which is a new gourmet burger place that's over near the mall. And so you guys just opened when? We opened yesterday. So tell me a little bit about what BurgerFi has and what makes it different. Well, we're a better burger concept. Mm -hmm. We uh, All our burgers are all natural. No mm -hmm. hormones, antibiotics, or steroids. Everything's from scratch in our building, so uh, no freezers in the back. Um, hand cut our fries, yeah, beer battered onion rings. Yeah, cut up potatoes. That's great. Yes, ma'am. Everything's from scratch. We have a veggie burger that's out of this world. Super. 14 ingredients. Takes three hours to make every day. Oh, my god. It is gosh. really good. And did I see shakes? Yes, ma'am. We have great custard milkshakes. Oh, my uh, god. We have sundaes, and we have a dessert called a concrete, which is layered custard with uh, all kinds of good toppings in between. Oh, my gosh. Unreal. This is the first one in Kentucky. Well, are we going to have more in Lexington, do you think? Absolutely. Okay. We uh, are very close to have ink in our uh, next deal near campus. Okay. And then uh, we'll definitely look for a third site as well. Well, we say it's as healthy as a burger can be. So it's, it's obviously it's red meat. But once again, it's no hormones, antibiotics, or steroids. It totally uh, works. The breakfast burger. Mm. Yum. Yum. Yeah. Mm. Very good. I, I gotta say though, however good that is, <laughs> this is better. Yeah. Down your slice of heaven right there. This is it. And there's just so much going on this week uh, with St. Oh, Patrick's yeah. Day, which is Thursday, and Easter coming up, and so many new places opening up. But and one first. Place we have some sad news. Sad. Uh, Macho Nacho did not make it, uh, unfortunately. Uh, it closed over the weekend, and uh, it only made it through December 14th. Well, December we started, yes. To, yes. Three months. For about three yeah. months. Um, but, you know, I, sorry about that. Um, you can talk about whether or not the restaurant purse of that location kicked <laughs> in again. Although, yeah. um, the owner, uh, says he was undercapitalized and sort of swamped by negative social media reviews. And I, I think that is something that probably didn't happen with previous restaurants. Never underestimate the power of Yelp. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And word of mouth, really. Yeah. I mean, and, and a lot of word of mouth. Yeah. Yeah, he had a lot of things going for him. He did a lot of work to promote the place. But it just never quite clicked menu-wise, I think mm -hmm. would be. Yeah. Yeah, the place yeah. is beautiful. And the location is super. It just needs to find its restaurant. Yes, and Yeah, it needs exactly. the, the right concept in there could do great. Yeah. Um, yep. This is a tough business. And it is. Uh, it speaking is. of the speaking right of, places, yes, new places. new places and new restaurants, this week we Thank learned you. that Mike Scanlon is opening a Tzatziki Mediterranean Cafe, which is a part of a chain. Yeah. Um, out on Southland Drive is where the new location will be, serving all things gyro, lamb, beef, chicken, vegetables, hummus, yeah. all of those kind of great Greek food items. I'll give so it a shot. I opens on the 18th, a ahead. month away. <laughs> Sorry. Time flies. Yeah, next month on South. Cheryl. And in other news, there's going to be a food hall at oh, the yeah. summit at Fritz Farm. A food hall that is going to showcase uh, local merchants and restaurants. So far signed on are the Athenian Grill and Crank and Boom. Uh, food halls are, are quite popular in other cities, yeah. well, in other nations as well. Um, they can get quite large and showcase a lot of local merchants. Sometimes you have like fish markets and cheese yeah. tasting rooms. Uh, and, and all of those things involved, and it's a fun walk uh, if you go into a food hall location. Okay. But in any case, uh, so far they have room for what, four to five merchants? I think there's going to be, yeah, some more. And I, I just think, what if we did like a Euro war? Like we, we got Tzatziki's, <laughs> yeah. and we got Athenian Grill, yeah. which is which is uh, going to be at the food hall, and we just have like a little, a little tasting, a little Euro sampling. Yeah. Do you want to do it? It's not a bad idea. Intriguing. Intriguing. Um. 
Well, in any case, I mean, it brings up so much is going in out of the the summit. Yes, uh, it's yeah. going Lots. to be like its own small town. What are the other restaurants? And, well, we know uh, Weed has got one. Weed has got yes. Honeywood. That's going to be yes. um, fantastic. All local stuff, and we know we're supposed to have a J. Alexander's, and of course. I don't know if I should say it here in this, in this Just place. Just whisper it. Shake Shack. Shake Shack. Shake Shack, which is coming out Yeah, it's supposed to be there. out there, which we, is supposed to be a great burger chain as yeah. well. I really, really hope the city is keeping an eye on this traffic-wise because, you know, it's going to be crazy. And they're going to have a grocery you... store. The Whole Foods is going to move oh, out that's there. That's right. That's right. right. So, because this and is housing and a senior citizen's a housing senior, place. Exactly. It's a destination location wow. along a very busy artery. Yeah. yeah. So We need some uh, more Double Diamond crossovers or something. Something like that. Something. Uh, craft to the Jessamine County line. <laughs> <laughs> well, in other news, <laughs> yes. coming later this year, I, I surely hope, is going to be Lexington's first cat cafe. And yeah, cat we're going to have to go there too. Cat, um, C-A-T-S. Cats, cats, cats. <laughs> this, this young lady, Amber Newman, is hoping to open one, possibly on National Avenue, which is more in our neck of the woods. And the way she explained it to me is because of the city health permitting and everything, your food is going to be in one part of the cafe. You can take it into the part with the cats if you like want Like real to. life cats, like your cat at your yeah, house cats. Yeah, and, and they'll have coffee and things. I think most of the time it's supposed to be like coffee that people take into where the cats are because I wouldn't want to take like a burger into where the cats yeah. are. But if you just have the cats a would like that. latte, sure. Right. And the cats are going to be probably uh, rescues that are up for adoption. So if you fall in love, you could take a I cat I just home. felt the need to distinguish between the cats and cats. Good point. Because, you know, it is March Madness. Yeah, yeah. Cheryl's, right. in, bracket, her bracket, Cheryl's in her blue. Bracket week. I just wanted to make sure that was clear. that It's not where the wild cats no. from the team are going to be, and you can go get some coffee with them. Yeah. Wouldn't that be great? Oh, my That's God. an idea. That's Potential a, pet cat. Oh. <laughs> Maybe we'll do that next. But it's like kitty cats. <laughs> speaking of the cat, yes. And speaking of the cats, <laughs> um, Sally, there's some news yes. about UK baseball. Former food. Wildcat AJ Reed, mm. uh, who huge slugger, and uh, yeah, for the uh, University of Kentucky Wildcats baseball team, yeah, uh, now has a food named for him out at the baseball field that you can try while you're out there watching the cats play this spring. AJ Reed nachos. <laughs> um, and they come with, you know, what your typical nachos come with, cheese, beans, chili, rice, chicken, guacamole, all that kind of 85 stuff. 85 ounces of them. It's a lot, but he's a big For nacho $18, fan. For $18, which is AJ's number, was 18 And or you can get it served to you in a authentic University of Kentucky baseball batting, helmet. Oh, my God. Batting helmet. And that one is 60 bucks. 60 bucks. For so that one. You but you get to keep the, you get to keep, and they swear it's never been worn. Isn't that right? That the helmet's never been worn. Would it have more value if it had may, been? If it had been worn by AJ, maybe because <gasps> you know he's a really good player. So nachos the size of a newborn baby. <laughs> oh a, yes. I think you, I think the idea is don't eat them all by yourself, but share with your That's baseball loving idea. friends. That's a better idea because you're literally yeah, getting you're a bucket. You're at the park. Like you got your drink. Of eat your yeah. share your yeah. nachos. Yeah. yeah. So. You go, AJ. We wish you luck with the Houston Astros and all the work you're doing down there. Yeah. Well, one more thing I have to mention on oh, Thursday. Yeah. It's St. Patrick's Day, and we will have uh, the roundup of places that you can get corned beef and cabbage, uh, all Green kinds beer. of sweets, and things that you know might want to you might want to celebrate St. Patrick's Day on Let's Go Eat, or just paint your tongue green. Ooh.